bunch of parts for the beginning. Uh, there are a couple of companies like Right to Bear Ammo. That they're making Subsonic 223 Ammo. These are loaded Subsonic. Uh, it says specifically here, will not cycle in semi-auto. Why in the hell would you really want it? I mean, yeah, you've got your Mossberg MVP, you've got some different bolt guns in 223, but let's be honest. Everybody wants to be able to run their suppressor on their AR and have subsonic ammo that doesn't tumble and that works. So what we're going to do here is we're embarking on a uh, little quest to come up with a system and this will be up for sale once we've got everything uh, finalized. The idea is to come up with a system that will cycle this subsonic ammo. Now, it, it can definitely be done. I, I know that, but where, where we're working from here is we're trying to come up with the minimum needed and necessary to be able to allow it to cycle. Uh, I mean, I know I can go at it no holds bar and make this thing cycle, but I'm starting with the minimum approach. And so we've got some parts assembled here. Uh, we're using Faxon barrel. And uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, putting this all together. And once we have our our setup will be offering this as an upper hopefully we can do it as just an upper we may end up having to add some parts to go with it also uh, but that's that's what's going on so if uh, anybody's interested in a setup like this let me know one of the other things that's going on here is if anybody has, if you guys have paid any attention to it, most have not, they don't realize this, but with your suppressors, there's only one or two, just a handful of suppressors out there that will tell you, yes, you can run our suppressor with a, in a 5.56 with a barrel that is shorter than 10 inches. Most of your suppressors will not honor any warranty and they will tell you their suppressor will fail if you run a 5.56, five, run it with a 5.56, 223, either one, and a barrel shorter than 10 inches. Uh, and to get more technical into the reasons this is, is what happens inside of that suppressor is you get unburnt powder. Uh, and as the charge goes down the barrel, it burns in the barrel as it's going on out. So up to 10, if it's 10 inches or beyond, enough of that powder has, has burnt up that it's, that it's safe for the suppressor. You get below 10 inches, and what happens is that unburnt powder ends up dumping in your first baffle set of your suppressor, first and second baffle set of the suppressor, and it builds up and after a couple of rounds you will have a detonation an explosion inside of the suppressor when the next round's fired and this is not a there's not an exact science that for this many inches you get this many you know detonations per no it's none of that it's just a simple fact that the the can won't hold up most of them won't now thunder beast I don't know who the first was to offer one, but Thunder Beast does. There's a few of them that do now. Um, but a lot of this, I mean, if you were able to run an ammo that burned very clean and thoroughly, uh, and you can test this and make sure of this, then you would be able to alleviate some of that, and, and you wouldn't have to worry about the you know your suppressor and, and necessarily having one that was rated that way and so that's something else that we're going to do is we're going to actually uh we've got a couple of different suppressors uh one that we're going to use is going to be uh the varmeter 2.0 uh, it's made by the mac brothers um and another we've got a couple of gym techs that we're going to use in this experiment 
And so uh, we're going to keep that in mind, that whole dynamic in mind throughout this testing setup. And uh, right to bear ammo is going to be our primary uh, ammunition that we're going to be testing for now. And then we'll work our ways into other ammunitions and stuff like that, other subsonic stuff, uh, as we get everything to run with this ammo. Uh, so we've got some pretty good stuff out here. And, uh, you know, Faxon barrels, you can't go wrong with a Faxon barrel. Um, running an AP, AP uh, carbon fiber forearm. Uh, you know, just, just a hodgepodge of stuff here. And uh, we've got some Strike Industry stuff. Uh, or I think this is an Anderson, just, you know, hodgepodge of stuff. So anyway, we're going to get this all drawn up. Uh, you can see here, I've already got the barrel in uh, the machining fixture for our first step. And uh, then we're going to go from there. So uh, we will have a report for you after we've got something to report. Thanks for watching, guys. And I would really appreciate your feedback. Uh, Pointers, tips are welcome, uh, and any interest in this, if, if someone would be interested in, in purchasing this setup once we have everything all figured out, if, if, you know, if you've got a suppressor and you've been wanting to get a, a setup that would cycle on subsonic ammo, uh, let me know. And uh, cause, like I say, we are going to be offering this as a, as a, as a kit, as an as a, as a upper. Um, so. Uh, let me know what your interest is in it, and I'd like to know the level of it, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks a lot, guys.